Hi, welcome to day one of simplifying fractions. And today we're gonna kind of turn it back a little bit and go and talk about something that isn't simplifying fractions yet. We're gonna talk about factors. So you probably remember your teachers talking about factors before. And let's just think for a minute if you can remember what factors are. Okay, so factors are all of the numbers that go into another number, or in other words, that a number can be divided by. Those would be the factors. So let's start with <clears throat> the number 14. And with the number 14, if we talk about what can go into 14, well, we always know that one times 14 goes into 14. I always would check after that with two, and if it's an even number, which meaning it ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight, it would be an even number, then two can go into it. So two times seven. And then there's some other tricks that you can learn to know what goes into what, but um, we know that three doesn't go into this because three times five is 15, which is only one away from 14, so it can't be that. And four doesn't go into it because four goes into 12 and 16. So those are four apart from each other, so it can't be four. And we already talked about five, and six times two is 12, six times three is 18, so 14, no. And then we're already up to seven, which we know is a factor. So there you have it. These are all of the factors, one, two, four, and seven. Those would be the factors for 14. Okay, so let's look at a couple other numbers. <clears throat> we have these numbers that we call prime numbers, like three, that just have two factors. One times three is three, and there's nothing else. So the only factors are one and three. And every number will have one and itself as factors. The prime numbers, that's all they'll have. Okay, let's do one that might have some more. Now we know here that we have one times 32, and then we have, it's an even number, so it's gonna be two times 16. Three, we know 30 and 33 are factors because 10 times three is 30 and 11 times three is 33. So it can't be three. Let's go with four because we know four times eight equals 32. And then five doesn't go into this. Six doesn't go into this because six goes into 30. Six goes into 36. So it doesn't go into 32. Seven, that's not gonna work. Eight, we already have. <coughs> and at this point, when we're getting up to nine and 10 and 11 and 12, we would have already found it by the, by the time we're getting there. So um, nine doesn't go into it, 10 doesn't go into it, 11 doesn't, 12 doesn't, 13 doesn't, 14 doesn't, 15 doesn't, and then we have 16, which we know is halfway. So then we're done. We don't have to go more than halfway. So we have one, two, four, eight, 16, and 32. So those are just some strategies of how you find a factor. These again are the factors of 32. You're gonna have to use your multiplication and your division that you've been practicing for the past few years of your life. So yeah, those are factors and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.